Hi, I'm Steve Green. Part 1 had 100 ultralight backpacking tips to help you lighten up and have more fun. This video has 101 more ideas. Let's get started. The lightest water container is a soda, water, or Gatorade bottle. Remove that heavy label. If you like hydration bladders, reduce weight by using only a bladder in your pack. Small condiment packages from fast food restaurants are light and convenient. Book matches are as light as any. Keep them dry in a small Ziploc. Take some windproof waterproof matches. Store in a Ziploc bag and keep the striker portions separate. Freeze-dried food is light. Read the label. See what you like and what's nutritious. The weight of freeze-dried meals varies. Get the most nutrition for the least weight. Eating vegetables is a challenge on long hikes. Find freeze-dried veggies you like. Reduce the weight and bulk of freeze-dried meals by repackaging in Ziploc bags. You can cook in the foil bags that come with some freeze-dried meals. If you do this, you can save the weight of some cleanup gear. Experiment with trail mixes. Learn what you like and which are lightest. Many hikers like nuts because they're nutritious. Consider eating them first because they're fairly heavy. Sunflower seeds are a dense, nutritious food. Eat your heaviest food first. A nice steak cooked on the coals of your fire is a fantastic treat the first night out. Foods like packaged peanut butter and string cheese are nutritious, but heavy enough to be eaten early. Dried apricots and some fruit leather aren't really that light. Know the weights. For instance, banana chips are far lighter than dried apricots. Some hikers like energy bars because no cooking is needed. Read the labels. Some are more nutritious than others. A granola, oatmeal, or cereal breakfast gives you a quick, light start in the morning. Dried soup mixes are light and available in all food stores. Healthy crackers, tortillas, and taco chips are good foods to munch on while hiking. A hike isn't a hike without beef jerky. Some brands seem drier and lighter. Tuna and chicken are becoming more available in small foil pouches. Look at food hydrators. You can experiment with food weights and taste. Powdered sports drinks replace electrolytes. They're available in small packages. Take your vitamin pill. It can't replace a meal, but it supplements your efforts. Carry spare food in case of an emergency. Make it some of your lightest food. A one-gallon Ziploc can be your trash bag. Open it often to let liquids evaporate. Water is heavy. Know where your next water source is so you don't carry so much. Take extra water in your car. Drink up before you hike and when you get back. If water is murky or full of particulate, pre-filter with a coffee filter or cloth. Boiling is slow and tedious but it's the lightest method if you're using a wood fire. Bottles of iodine tablets weigh only 1.1 ounces when they're full. Iodine treatment can be as light as 0.3 ounces if you put your tablets in a 1 dram bottle. If you use Aquamira, the small 1 ounce containers weigh only 3.1 ounces when full. A filter can weigh less than an ounce by using the Magnet Emergency Frontier Filter. Bottle filters can weigh as little as 5 ounces, including the bottle. Pump all the water out of your filter after each use to remove the extra water weight. The lightest of the ultraviolet light purifying devices weighs only 2.4 ounces. Two to four drops of household bleach will treat a quart of water. For insects, put a good deep based repellent into a one quarter or one half ounce container. If you like a spray applicator, some small sample bottles fit the one fourth and one half ounce Nalgene bottles. Treat your clothing, pack, and tent with permethrin. It's a weightless way of keeping insects away. Keep your first aid kit in a Ziploc bag. It's lighter than the original container. It's good to include a tiny list of basic first aid procedures in your kit. Your first aid kit should include light versions of bandages, gauze pads, alcohol pads, antiseptic pads, mole skin, butterfly bandages, and triple antibiotic ointment. You can replace a needle with brass safety pins that won't poke your equipment. Use them to treat blisters. They can be a part of your repair kit, too. Hollow tube-style cotton swabs are lighter than the solid ones. A partial roll of surgical tape is great for making large bandages or repairs. White athletic tape is lighter than moleskin. Use it for bandages and repairs, too. Your aspirin and or ibuprofen can be kept in small Ziploc bags. If you use antacids, they can be kept in small Ziploc bags. Anti-diarrhea tablets, lopermade hydrochloride, can be stored in small Ziplocs. Benadryl in a tiny container or in tablet form can give relief from insect bites. Ziplocs can store any small item. After meals, food Ziplocs can store other things. You can repackage your biodegradable soap in one-fourth or one-half ounce containers. Hand sanitizer in one-fourth or one-half ounce bottles can avoid stomach problems caused by dirty hands. Keep sunscreen in one-fourth or one-half ounce bottles. Look for good SPF lip protection in a smaller than average tube. Keep toilet paper dry in a Ziploc. White, non-scented paper won't attract animals. Get a small head toothbrush. Cut part of the handle. Drill some holes. 
Be a fanatic. For regular toothpaste to get sample sizes, use the first part of the tube at home. Tooth powder is even lighter. It's as simple as three parts baking soda, one part salt. The powder will clog a Ziploc closure, so use a small plastic container. Take the amount of dental floss needed. Store in a Ziploc. Use it for repairs, too. If you take a comb, of course you want to cut it in half. A light acrylic mirror is good for grooming and signaling. Cut it down if you like. Arid Extra Dry Cream Deodorant is available in many stores. Put a little in a plastic container. Most medications can be kept in a small Ziploc bag. A flashlight can be as light as one fourth ounce if you use a little squeeze light. Lithium batteries save weight. They cost more, but last longer. Trim the packaging of your squeeze light batteries, but don't take them out and let them rub together. They'll lose their charge. For a larger flashlight, a model with two AAA batteries can be as light as one and a half ounces. If you like a headlamp, it can be as light as 1.1 ounces. Trim your map to the part needed. Keep emergency exits and other key information. Use only the guidebook pages for your current part of a long trail. Mail the sections to your food drops. Throw away old ones or mail them home. Use a compass as light as one-tenth of an ounce in familiar areas. Match it to your skills and the conditions. Resist the urge to use a multi-function tool. A light knife is a fraction of the weight. Get a pair of sunglasses that weigh less than an ounce. Store them in a Ziploc bag. There are a lot of things that you can use for fire starter. Your cooking gear might be enough. Dryer lint is an old favorite that is very light. A 1.8 ounce emergency blanket is cheap insurance. It can make a dry place to sit or a ground cover too. Emergency whistles can be two tenths of an ounce for either the plastic or light aluminum style. Get light utility cord that is thin and strong. It can be as light as four tenths of an ounce for 25 feet. A few rubber bands make a nice utility item and add very little weight. If your regular watch is heavy, get a cheap, light plastic one for backpacking. Use duct tape for repairs and first aid. You can find it in flat packs of three or five yards. Don't use a trowel for bathroom use. Nature provides them. They're called sticks. Carry a light pencil or pen and paper for emergencies. Look for the lightest. Make a separate car key and drill it and file it to save weight. Don't lose your car key. Add bright mylar from a balloon or a piece of cord or yarn. If you like hiking poles, shop for light ones. Some features add unnecessary weight. Umbrellas work in sun and rain. They can be as light as 5.5 ounces. On in and out hikes, you can save water weight by storing some partway into the hike. Be sure you can find it on the way out. On through hikes, become an expert at mailing to resupply points. Carry postage in case some of your supply points don't have it. You can send unwanted gear home. Some people like to take a paperback book. Lighten up by burning it as you read it. Get a separate pair of reading glasses for backpacking. The thin ones are ultra light. If your glasses get foggy, you don't need special liquid. Your own spit works well. A Tyvek envelope makes a cheap, light place to sit on wet trees and rocks. Don't take a heavy wallet. Carry cash, ID, a credit card or two, and possibly a phone card. Leave your jewelry at home. It's probably light, but you wouldn't want to lose it. Find the light camera that's best for you. Compare models on your digital scale. Leave extra clothing in your car. When you return wet and dirty, it'll feel great. Consider leaving your cell phone at home or in the car, especially if you figure you won't have coverage. Here are a couple of extra bonus tips. Number one, get a haircut. Number two, trim your nails. But wait, there's more. You get these free knives and six extra bonus tips just for watching this video. Number one, turn light supermarket containers of nuts and fruits into backpacking containers. Number two, if your feet don't tend to blister, you may be able to use only light liner socks. Number three, baby wipes or tush wipes are a light way to freshen up. Number four, latex gloves can keep your hands warm and they're almost weightless. Number five, make cheap light disposable gaiters out of old socks. Number six, make cheap light rain gear out of a trash bag. There you have it, 201 ultralight backpacking tips. Hike light and have more fun. See over 30 more videos and a free ultralight backpacking book at hikelight.com.